Hey there, I'm Allie Cast, a Mayor's Neighborhood Advocate for the City of Indianapolis. Welcome to the September episode of Indianapolis City Community Connections, where we keep you informed about everything going on in our amazing city. First up, Indie Due Day is September 28th, 29th, and 30th. That means now is the time for organizations to register projects and for businesses and residents to sign up to volunteer. This will be an entire weekend dedicated to beautifying Indianapolis with a goal of 20,000 volunteers citywide. To register, visit IndieDueDay.org. This year, Indie Due Day will also feature a special It's My City project, allowing neighbors across Indianapolis to come together to help clean up and beautify our neighborhoods. It's My City is a three-year effort designed to leverage civic pride and engage residents in the health of Indianapolis. Remember, if we all do a little together, we can change a lot. Visit itsmycity.org to learn more. Next, the Information Services Agency recently launched the pilot site for the new my.ind.gov. The site launched with four new services, including a new public information portal, a deduction search feature, as well as an updated homestead and mortgage deduction applications. Designed to be the new digital city hall for Indianapolis and Marion County for citizens, the site is scheduled to be complete by the end of 2018. New services, features, and content will be released quarterly. Moving on, Indigo invites the public to stop by for a casual transit talk during the month of September for updates on the transit plan, the red line, and to get any questions answered. Transit talk locations stretch from Broad Ripple to Fountain Square, where Indigo staff will be available in the morning and early evening. These events provide an opportunity to learn more about the transit plan and ask questions, and there will be no official presentation. Visit indigo.net for more information. When you're looking for things to do this month, don't forget that Indy Parks and Recreation has an impressive fall schedule with plenty of activities for you and your family. Favorites such as aerobics, ballet, and basketball? Join VolleyFit as well as year-round swim lessons for all ages. With hundreds of class offerings and specialty programs, Indy Parks has your fall activities covered. Now is also the time to start making your Halloween plans, so why not plan for a spooky Halloween in the parks? From hay rides at South Eastway and Eagle Creek Parks, to a haunted house at Indy Island, to the annual Ghoulish Garfield event, Indy Parks and Recreation has activity for everyone to help you celebrate. As we do approach the fall season, don't forget about the Garfield Park Farmers Market. Running every Saturday through October from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., key vendors include Amelia's Bread, Tulip Tree Creamery, General American Donuts, and many more local favorites. For more information, go to garfieldparkfarmersmarket.com. And for all of you Eastsiders out there, Make sure to check out the Irvington Garden Club's Farmer's Market at Ellenberger Park. You'll find in-season varieties of vine-ripened red tomatoes, green peppers, fresh corn, new potatoes, and other colorful vegetables. You will also discover in-season fruits, including fresh peaches, apples, and more. The last two farmer's markets of the season are on September 10th and October 8th, so don't wait. For more information about the market, visit irvingtongardenclub.com. Next, the Department of Metropolitan Development, or DMD for short, is currently working on the Indianapolis Marion County Land Use Plan. The plan will be used as a basis for property zoning and will include objectives and policies for future development. Now, we want you to play a role in determining how our city is developed. One way to do this is by joining the People's Planning Academy, a new partnership between Indy DMD and the Indianapolis Neighborhood Resource Center this exciting new program will provide participants with a basic knowledge of planning principles, as well as an in-depth training on the Marion County Land Use Plan's new classification system. Participants who complete the Academy program will be able to work alongside Indianapolis city planners in the mapping phase of the Land Use Plan, using their newfound skills to directly impact their own distinct neighborhoods. The first class will launch in fall of 2017. For more information or to pre-register, visit the website below. Finally, September 2017 is World Hunger Action Month, and the City of Indianapolis is asking all residents to do their part to alleviate hunger. Some easy ways to help include volunteering at a local hunger relief organization, donating your money, time, or food to local food banks, or simply sharing meals with friends and neighbors who are struggling. Together, we can make a difference this September. For more information on food insecurity and hunger relief in Indianapolis, visit indiehunger.org. Well, that's all for this month's episode of Indianapolis City Community Connections. Remember, you can follow the Mayor's Neighborhood Advocates on Twitter, at IndyMNAs, and the City of Indianapolis on Facebook, at City of Indianapolis. For the Mayor's Office, I'm Allie Cast, and we'll see you next time.